Now you can say what you want about the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class here, but you really can't oppose that Mercedes-Benz has made an extraordinary effort to build an E-Class suitable for most tastes. Really whether you want your mid-size luxury car to be a fuel sipping diesel sedan, a turbo V6 power convertible, or a road burning 577 horsepower wagon, there's really bound to be an E-Class much to your liking. So let's go ahead and check out this 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Now since its debut in the 2010 model year, this generation of the E-Class has been one of my personal favorites thanks to its trifecta of refinement, performance, and cutting edge technology. Last year's number of improvements only made it more so. Not one to rest on its hood badge laurels, the E-Class comes into the 2015 model year with a new engine option. It's called the new E400 and it sports a turbocharged 3 liter V6 engine. Now as far as styling goes on the E-Class, I think this is quite a restrained, elegant, and classy looking vehicle here, but it is leaning towards more of an older buyer. And we do have the sports package, and it does spice up things as far as the exterior styling goes. We do have these 18 inch wheels, which do spice up the flavor a little bit on the E-Class. Now as far as the rest of the vehicles go in the segment of the midsize luxury sports sedan class, I think the Lexus GS looks just a little more interesting in its design as well as the Cadillac CTS which is a surprise. But this is still a fairly good looking vehicle here. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. In typical Mercedes fashion, fairly high quality looking key fob. You have your lock, unlock to release your trunk, and then your panic button. Now it is a polar white exterior color. With a silk beige MB Tex interior. Which is a leatherette for Mercedes, that's what they like to call it. But it imitates it pretty well. Now you have your power driver seat controls, power adjustable headrest, power recline. And then your power lumbar right here too. Now stepping on inside of here, as you can see, very high quality looking, classy looking. But it doesn't really look technologically advanced here. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. Now you do have push button ignition of course, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a 7 speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror. And then you also do have a top down view and a front camera too. And then you can choose to view it full screen. But it is a 360 degree view camera here. And then push for part. Simple as that. Then you also do have paddle shifters for the manual shiftability too. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards as well. All windows are fully automatic in the E-Class. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have blind spot detection.
front parking sensors. You also do have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. Now under the hood here you have a 3.5 liter V6 producing 302 horses at 6500 RPM and 273 pound-feet of torque at 3500 RPM. Running on premium unleaded fuel with EPA estimates being 20 in the city and 29 on the highway. With rear wheel drive being standard and all wheel drive being optional. And Mercedes likes to call that their formatic all wheel drive system. Overall, I'm pretty surprised at how fuel efficient this powertrain is. Now, there is many powertrain options of the E-Class. Now, you do have a 2.1 liter four-cylinder twin turbo diesel that also comes mated with a seven-speed automatic. Then you also do have the option of the new three liter twin turbo V6. And then you have the top of the line 5.5 liter twin turbo V8. And then you also do have a 3.5 liter V6 hybrid. All powertrains come mated with a 7-speed automatic. Overall, the E-Class has a wide variety of powertrains to select from and they are all are very strong engines here. Now since there's many different powertrains, there's also many different trims as well. But just for the E350 trim, it starts at the luxury model which starts at $52,300. You also do have the Sport model which starts at $52,300. The Luxury with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system starts at $54,800. Same with the E350 Sport with the 4MATIC. And that's where the pricing ends for the E350. And then you have the E400 as well as the E250 too. Now competitors of the E-Class you have its main arch rival the BMW 5 Series, which has gotten softer over the years to compete more with the E-Class. You also do have the Lexus GS, Cadillac CTS, as well as the Audi A6. Full LED tail lamps with LED turn signal indicators. And you also do have dual exhaust tips and a rear window defroster. And this particular E-Class costs $63,200 with the EPA estimates 20 in the city, 29 on the highway. Of course you have a nice soft touch armrest, nice and soft to the touch on the mid door panel and up door panel too. Of course you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, power folding exterior mirrors too. And then your power door lock switches are right here memory seat settings for three people as well. And you also do have illuminated door sills. Now let's go ahead and rev it up. Now as far as the build quality and the materials go inside of the E-Class here, everything is the highest of quality. None of the plastics really feel cheap in this vehicle. And you have nice soft touch materials, like I said, up here on the upper door panel, mid door panel, armrest, and up here on the dashboard, everything is in this nice padded material. Down here, it's not overly padded, but it feels very solid. It has that German solidity here, and that's what I think everyone loves about an E-Class is that it feels like a bank vault inside of here. But yeah, overall build quality and materials are exquisite. Not many panel gaps and everything is very well put together inside of here. Now coming to your main AC controls, 
it's a little complicated to figure out from the start but once you get used to it it's pretty easy to use you have dual zone automatic climate control and then here's your temperatures right here for the driver's side and then the passenger side right here and then you have your fan speeds and then your different modes rear window defroster and then your recycling overall it's very easy to figure out once you get used to it now I really do like this black ashwood trim which definitely gives it more contrast inside of this interior here you also do have your cup holders right here and then right here is your dial to control your main head unit which I will get to in just a second right here you will find your center console and then a USB port down there nice and soft to the touch as well as nice and stitched too now coming up here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link SOS safety connect we also do have a panoramic sunroof. Then your interior illumination lighting. Now one interesting little feature is that I found this little storage compartment right here. And I thought that this was a very unique place to put a little storage cubby. You usually don't find this on too many vehicles. It's lined with felt, so it's fairly high quality, but pretty interesting there. And then you also do find it on the passenger side as well. Now as far as visibility goes inside of the E-Class, it's exquisite. Lots of glass area all around. Outward visibility is decent too, and rearward visibility is excellent too. And since we do have the 360 degree view camera and the park assist, I don't think you really will have trouble backing up this vehicle here. Now since this vehicle did debut in the 2010 model year, it's just getting a little stale in terms of its design. And then if you do check out the smaller C-Class, the C-Class actually looks a little more interesting and more technologically advanced than the E-Class here. But it's still a fairly, you know, luxurious feeling vehicle inside of here. Now coming right here, you have your heated seats for the driver and the passenger, your parking sensors off button, and then your eco mode. And then here's your rear sun chain. It's just a little slow. Now, coming to the main head unit here, this is actually probably my biggest complaint about the E-Class. Now, it still works very well. It's very user-friendly once you get used to it. And it still does everything right. It's just that it's a little tad small in this day and age to be honest and then the whole layout of it is getting pretty dated overall and this layout did come out in the late 2000s now coming right here you have your navigation and everything is controlled by this dial right here and then you have a set of buttons right here and then we've seen this navigation system a million times here if you've seen my videos on many Mercedes vehicles and I like the rendering and the graphics of it, but don't expect to find anything like 3D rendering of buildings. But it still works fairly well. It does everything right. I would love to see Mercedes' new navigation system, their new map that they do have on the S-Class as well as the C-Class. And then coming to radio right here. You have your audio, AM, FM, HD radio on this bad boy, satellite radio too, of course, all the basics. Then your phone, you have your Bluetooth hands-free calling, you can connect your, to your device down there, and then you have text messaging, and then your dial pad too. And then, I'm still not sure why Mercedes is still putting a dial pad right here. They've been using that since, I don't know how long, since like the late 90s or early 2000s. Then you have your video, you can watch a DVD on here if you want to. And then your system, you can change many different settings. You have a graph of your fuel economy, MPG, and then you have your time right there. And then coming up to the web browser, you have your Mercedes-Benz apps, your internet radio, serious weather, Mercedes mobile website and then your operator's manual then your internet favorites too then the weather is provided by Sirius 
you have your five day forecast and then you can go to your map and then it shows your weather on the map pretty cool there but overall this is a very easy to use system once you get used to it and I just would love to see their new head unit from the S class as well as the C class now coming to the steering wheel here, I like the steering wheel design overall. Coming over to these set of buttons, this controls your center screen right there. Coming over here you have your steering wheel audio controls, your Bluetooth phone controls, then your voice recognition. You also do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. Now one complaint I do have is that if you do signal to the left or right, you might actually accidentally hit the cruise control stock and they have fixed that on recent Mercedes vehicles like the S-Class and the C-Class. You don't have that type of cruise control stock anymore. Now coming to the gauges, I think these gauges are out of place on this vehicle. I think they just look a little cheap in my opinion. And they're kind of hard to read to be honest. Not really a big fan of these gauges. Now coming to the little center screen right there. I like the center screen. I think the rendering of it is great. And then it gives you your exterior temperature readout. It's like a mini command interface, kind of. And then you have your digital speedometer right there. And then your average fuel economy. And then your eco display. Fuel range. Then you have your navigation. It shows you your direction of travel. Your audio. You could change your different audio sources. And then your telephone if you have a Bluetooth phone connection and then you have many different safety technologies on the E-Class such as collision prevention, attention assist, blind spot assist of course which I mentioned earlier, lane keeping assist as well. Now one unique feature that the E-Class does offer is autonomous driving and it could partially drive itself up to a certain speed and it's mostly used for when you're in stop and go traffic and it's actually one of the first vehicles to introduce autonomous driving on a mass production vehicle. Now the 2015 E-Class sticks out a sublime middle ground between comfort and sport. There are both cushier cars and more athletic cars in the mid-sized luxury segment but none marries these traits as harmoniously as the Benz. Regardless of body style or engine, the E-Class also provides that unique sense of solidity that has long set Mercedes vehicles apart. It's a very special car to drive to be honest. If there's a downside here, it involves the growing collection of electronic driving aids, which certainly mean well but have the potential to interfere with driving enjoyment. Fortunately, some can be turned off if you find them overly intrusive. Now as far as the seats go, the seats are fairly comfortable, decent amount of side bolstering, thigh support is also pretty good too, and I like how there's not a whole lot of side bolstering, but the seats are pretty comfortable overall. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. Now build quality and materials do follow through in the rear here of course. So nice soft touch materials and nice stitching. And you still have this really nice black ashwood trim that carries through in the rear. Now sitting back here, it is decently sized, decent amount of leg room. Headroom is very, very generous. You also do have dual map pockets, rear air vents, and a 12 volt power outlet. You also do have a center armrest with cup holders and a little storage compartment. Now to be honest, the only reason I would buy an E-Class over the C-Class is if you would want more room on the interior here. That's really the only reason I would buy an E-Class over the new C-Class. Because it's a little more roomy than the smaller C-Class, but it has definitely gotten roomier over the previous generation C-Class, which was pretty cramped. Alrighty. Now I really do love how the trunk lid opens all the way up and it is also powered too. Generous amount of cargo capacity, you also do have a 12 volt power outlet and a little storage compartment right there. Alrighty. 
fairly fast closing trunk lid there. Full powered passenger seat with memory seat settings for three people. Your glove box compartment. Line what felt very damp too. Very high quality. Also forgot to mention that you also do have the nice ambient lighting. It does really make the interior feel more special. It gives it a much more richer ambiance inside of here. Alright. So the 2015 Mercedes-Benz E-Class is the true definition of a modern mid-size luxury car with its elegant furnishings, exacting workmanship, and huge selection of engines and features. If you're shopping in this class, it's definitely not to be missed. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews. And you also do have a 3.5 liter V6 hybrid. All powertrains come mated with a 7 speed automatic. Overall, the E Class has a wide variety of powertrains to select from, and they are, all are very strong engines here. Now, since there's many different powertrains, there's also many different trims as well. But just for the E350 trim, it starts at the luxury model, which starts at $52,300. You also do have the sport model, which starts at $52,300. The luxury with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system starts at $54,800. Same with the E350 sport with the 4MATIC. And that's where the pricing ends for the E350. And then you have the E400 as well as the E252. Now, competitors of the E-Class, you have its main arch rival, the BMW 5 Series, which has gotten softer over the years to compete more with the E-Class. You also do have the Lexus GS, Cadillac CTS, as well as the Audi A6. Full LED tail lamps with LED turn signal indicators, and you also do have dual exhaust tips, and a rear window defroster. Looking. But it doesn't really look technologically advanced here. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. Now you do have push button ignition of course. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a 7 speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror. Then you also do have a top-down view and a front camera too. And then you can choose to view it full screen. But it is a 360 degree view camera here. And then push for part. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a 7 speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror. 
And then you also do have a top down view and a front camera too. And then you can choose to view it full screen. But it is a 360 degree view camera here. And then push for part. Simple as that. Then you also do have paddle shifters for the manual shiftability too. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards as well. All windows are fully automatic in the E-Class. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Now you have your power driver seat controls, power adjustable headrest, power recline, and then your power lumbar right here too. Now stepping on inside of here, as you can see, very high quality looking, classy looking. But it doesn't really look technologically advanced here. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. Now you do have push button ignition of course. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a seven speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror, many Mercedes vehicles. And I like the rendering and the graphics of it, but don't expect to find anything like 3D rendering of buildings. But it still works fairly well, it does everything right. I would love to see Mercedes' new navigation system, their new map that they do have on the S-Class as well as the C-Class. And then coming to radio right here, you have your audio, AM, FM, HD radio on this bad boy, satellite radio too, of course, all the basics. Then your phone, you have your Bluetooth hands-free calling, you can connect your, to your device down there, and then you have text messaging and then your dial pad too. And then, I'm still not sure why Mercedes is still putting a dial pad right here. They've been using that since, I don't know how long, since like the late 90s or early 2000s. Then you have your video. You can watch a DVD on here if you want to. And then your system. You can change many different settings. You have a graph of your fuel economy, MPG. And then you have your time right there. And then coming up to the web browser, you have your Mercedes-Benz apps, your internet radio, Sirius Weather, Mercedes mobile website, and then your operator's manual. Then your internet favorites too. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. You also do have blind spot detection. Front parking sensors. You also do have LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. Now under the hood here you have a three and a half liter V6 producing 302 horses at 6500 RPM and 273 pound-feet of torque at 3500 RPM running on premium unleaded fuel with EPA estimates being 20 in the city and 29 on the highway with rear-wheel drive being standard and all-wheel drive being optional and Mercedes likes to call that their 4 all-wheel drive system 
Overall, I'm pretty surprised at how fuel efficient this powertrain is. Now, there is many powertrain options of the E-Class. Now, you do have a two your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now, you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a 7 speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror. Then you also do have a top down view and a front camera too. And then you can choose to view it full screen. But it is a 360 degree view camera here. And then push for part. Simple as that. Then you also do have paddle shifters for the manual shiftability too. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards as well. All windows are fully automatic in the E-Class. And let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the in flavor a little bit on the E-Class. Now, as far as the rest of the vehicles go in the segment of the midsize luxury sports sedan class, I think the Lexus GS looks just a little more interesting in its design as well as the Cadillac CTS, which is a surprise. But this is still a fairly good looking vehicle here. Now here goes the key fob for the vehicle. In typical Mercedes fashion, fairly high quality looking key fob. You have your lock, unlock to release your trunk, and then your panic button. Now it is a polar white exterior color. With a silk beige MB Tex interior. Which is a leatherette for Mercedes, that's what they like to call it. But it imitates it pretty well. Now you have your power driver seat controls, power adjustable headrest, power recline, and then your power lumbar right here too. Now stepping on inside of here, as you can see, very high quality looking, classy looking. But it doesn't really look technologically advanced here. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. Now you do have push button ignition of course. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a seven speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side mirror. And then you also do have a top down view and a front camera too. And then you can choose to view it full screen. But it is a 360 degree view camera here. And then push for part simple as that. Then you also do have paddle shifters for the manual. It imitates it pretty well. Now you have your power driver seat controls, power adjustable headrest, power recline, and then your power lumbar right here too. Now stepping on inside of here, as you can see, very high quality looking, classy looking. 
but it doesn't really look technologically advanced here. It's just a very luxurious interior design. You could just tell everything looks and feels very high quality. Now you do have push button ignition of course. Just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you heard was a 3.5 liter V6. Now you do have a full leather wrapped steering wheel, of course. Coming to your transmission, you have a seven speed automatic, down for drive, up for reverse. And then when you put the vehicle into reverse, that displays your rear view camera with guidance lines and trajectory. You also do have many different views you can choose from by selecting it on this little dial right here. You can change the brightness of the screen as well. As you can see, you have a camera on the side.